Hey guys and welcome to day 2 of my XP marathon week thing and uh, I'm still... So today I just did some penguins with rune shark which probably wasn't the best idea to do with my 10% bonus XP kind of a waste of XP and for the rest of the day I'm just going to continue with summoning and see if I can get these golds finished or near finished I, I took took your guys' suggestion, you said to use the, the talk all zo ring as it's uh, a bit faster to teleport than the dungeoneering ring, and uh, you guys are right. I mean, the teleport happens just in about half the time, so it's uh, a little bit quicker. And I'm thinking I'm going to use my less my golds just doing this, and I'll maybe try my green charms in the next, in the, well, tomorrow in the next video with uh, the shot method. But I'm I'm not sure if willow branches will be a bit of a waste, but I'll I'll give them a try and see how much you lose. So I'm just less than 100k for level right now, I'm getting pretty close, and I'm not really sure what to talk about today. Uh, I have a few things on my mind that I want to talk about, but um, feel free to leave a comment if you guys want to suggest anything you'd like to hear me talk about, or discuss, or ask me anything specific. So I've been trying to sort out a visa for when I go travelling after the summer, and uh, it's a lot more complicated than I thought, and uh, the guy at the travel agent was a bit of a douche. <laughs> I was uh, asking him if I go... If I go to America, how long I can stay before I get deported? <laughs> and he said um, I, I can stay for three months as a visitor visa. And if I go to Canada, I could stay for six months. And I was trying to ask him, well, if I went to America for three months and I go to Canada for a bit, can I come back to America for another three months after that? And uh, he was kind of like, I, there are 300 countries in the world. I am only one man and that kind of thing. So I definitely need to get that sorted out as soon as possible because um, immigration is really strict. I, I don't know if I'm a non-immigrant or an immigrant. Uh, it's really complicated. <laughs> I've only ever gotten a bus or a train by myself so, so getting a flight is kind of a big deal. So anyways, what I wanted to talk about today was kind of giveaways and uh, what do you guys think about giveaways because um, I, <laughs> I, I kind of get annoyed when I see them like, say for example, somebody's given away a PlayStation, a brand new PlayStation 3, and usually, not all the time, but usually they'll always ask you to subscribe to other channels, like and favorite the video, and share the video, so they get uh, more, more views in the video. And what they're actually doing is just using a bit of a trick on you to get to get you to get the video more views, and they're therefore getting paid from the AdSense, and they'll be getting paid even more than an ex a, pay, a PlayStation is even worth. So, basically, they're not even giving it away, they're making profit on it. And I actually get a lot of messages on YouTube, people wanting to, to kind of sponsor me, where they give me money, and I give them, uh, and I say I'm sponsored by this person, and I've always I've, I've always said no to that kind of thing, because I really don't want to, like, accept donations, because I think it's, I, I don't know, I, I really want to try and, especially max my account, I really want to try and make, <laughs> do it myself, and uh, save up for things myself. You know, 99 prayer, I could take donations and get 99 prayer real easy, but I just want to kind of do it myself. I've also been asked by people to uh, to give out money, so so people want to sponsor me to give it out. So people, so say somebody gives me 500 mil, I'd then give it out on a, as, a, as a giveaway to you guys. And uh, I, I, I've always said no to this because I, I don't want people to think that I'm taking money for myself or I'm being greedy. I'm uh I I just didn't want the negativity of like what giveaways are kind of associated to. But I mean at the same time I would really like to help out you guys as in I would really like to be able to give out money money to you guys and be able to maybe help some of you out. Of course, of course I can't give money to all of you because there just isn't enough GP. You guys should let me know what you think like would you prefer me to to stay away from giveaways completely which I'll understand and I don't mind doing and I've sort of been doing so far. Or would you guys prefer me to do it? Um, but obviously I won't be taking any myself. I wouldn't want to take any myself. And yeah, we could see how it goes. But if there's one thing I know is I definitely wouldn't be doing it as in uh, to make me more popular. I would just wanting to be doing it to as in help you guys out. So I wouldn't be asking for likes and favourites on the video where I'm giving it out. And uh, it, I was kind of trying to think up ideas of where I could give stuff out. But not like give it out just all you have to do is post your runescape name in the comments like i want to make it a little more a little more challenging than that so um i, I mean it just makes it thins down the amount of people that can potentially enter and it make, make, gives you guys a little bit more of a chance of winning 
Because uh, if you notice a lot of giveaway videos, you know they have like a million comments. I mean, what's the chances of you winning that? Not not very big. But I mean, if I make it a bit more challenging, there's a there's a probably a higher chance that some of you guys of of getting the money. So maybe like a secret annotation <laughs> somewhere in a video where people had to hi find it, and it maybe it would only appear for five seconds. And you'd have to click on that to go to a secret video where you push your Red Skip username and then I'd pick the, the winner from that video. Or maybe some like interactive quiz where you got asked sort of sort of random RuneScape questions, so I guess it would test your RuneScape knowledge. But maybe even taking the interactivity to a completely new level. And I, I used to have a book where um you used to read a sentence and then you had a choice of what you wanted to do. So you could either run away or attack the monster. And if you wanted to attack the monster you'd skip to a different different page in the book and then it would continue the story and then you could either um, loot, loot the monster's grave or do something else and I, I thought maybe I could do that with RuneScape like it would be kind of kind of weird but <laughs> a whole series of video annot a video annotations so you would start off at Lumbridge and you would maybe choose what you want to do and uh, I, I don't know maybe there'd be some goal and if you get to the goal then you'd eventually get to the winning video and that you'd post your RuneScape name down there but I mean that would be a, a lot of work and a lot of videos because I'd, I'd have to plan out and do a different video for every single combination of things, of actions you want to choose from. But that's just me kind of brainstorming on new things to do. Uh, you guys can feel free to tell me I'm stupid and to not do giveaways if that's what you'd prefer. So I really wanted to stay on today and just get a level up to make it seem like I've been productive <laughs> the last two days. So I'm, I think I should get at this inventory. Let's see. Got too many of these twos. Get rid of those. And here we go. Level up. What was that? Is that 93? Yeah, 93. Can summon some new stuff. Open effigies. All that good stuff. And I think I'm going to leave it here tonight. It's about one in the mo one in the morning for me right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.